Hi there, this is Anna from Anna Aspinus Designs. I want to welcome you to my Masterly Brushes series. In these classes, you're going to learn all about the brushes available to you at Anna Aspinus Designs. And you're going to master the how, what, why, and when to use them in your photo artistry and digital scrapbooking pages. For ease of understanding and to provide the best learning experience, Masterly Brushes has a total of five parts. This first part includes the welcome and the course outline, as well as a free comprehensive basic brushes guide. You're essentially going to learn everything that you need to know about getting started with brushes by Anna Aspinus Designs, as well as the techniques that you're going to need throughout the remainder of this course. Part two is going to introduce you to design principles and you're going to learn how to apply these two brushes so that you know exactly what brush to choose in what situation and how to apply it to your pages in order to create well-designed photo artistry and digital scrapbooking layouts. You might have everything that you need at this point to start adding brushes to your pages, but if you need more information, then part three will provide 10 different focus sessions, each of which will demonstrate a technique and then provide at least five examples from myself and the Anna Aspinus Designs creative team to support the demonstration. Each of these 10 video sessions will provide you with the opportunity to really go in depth with me on 10 different brushes techniques so that you can master them in your own photo artistry and digital scrapbooking designs. You'll master the art of texture brushes in part four and then in part five, we'll be turning our attention to pictorial style brushes. Each part is subdivided into shorter sessions of about 20 to 30 minutes for ease of learning and download. And then the availability of these sessions is that you will be able to mix and match the sessions that are most relevant to you, or you can access them as a collective bundle option. Parts one and two will be released together. Part three will follow shortly thereafter. Four and five will come later in the series. If you use Photoshop Elements to create your photo artistry and digital scrapbooking pages, then please know that I always aim to include you in my classes. While this Masterly Brushes series is going to be conducted in Photoshop CC, I will be providing both written and verbal guidance in Photoshop Elements. I've also created a separate Brushes Basics video in Photoshop Elements for your convenience. This is intended to provide you with a strong foundation for the remainder of the Masterly Brushes series. And of course, if you do have any additional questions, I am always available via email and Facebook group support. Before you move into watching the Brushes Basics videos in either Photoshop or Elements, I first want to provide you with a lot more information about the course content of the Masterly Brushes series. In the next video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about the basics of brushes. And of course, you have the choice of viewing that video in Elements or Photoshop. So we're going to be looking at the types of brushes by Anna Aspinus Designs that are available to you. We're going to be talking about brush sizes and formats, as well as how to make, save and load your brushes using the paintbrush tool in Photoshop or Elements. We're going to look at some different ways to use brushes. And then also I want to provide some tips and troubleshooting advice when your brushes don't work. 
So I'm really excited to give this information to you. It's really going to provide a solid foundation to the remainder of the sessions in the Masterly Brushes series. And it really doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner, if you already have some experience with brushes or you consider yourself fairly advanced, this is going to be a really good place for us to all start. With the basics under your belt, we're then going to swiftly move into working with brushes and design principles. And I really want to hone in on the idea of identifying specific brushes based on element properties and then matching those element properties with recognized design principles so that you know exactly what brush to select how to use it, where to place it, and why you're using that brush in a certain way in your photo artistry and digital scrapbooking pages. So part two is about how to successfully select and use brushes in your designs. I'm going to tell you why Art Play palette brushes are the best type of brushes to have in your digital art supplies. You're going to learn and identify element properties in brushes. You're going to master the art of being able to select brushes for smart design in your photo artistry and digital scrapbooking pages. We're going to demystify transparency and talk about the importance of transparency in the use of brushes. We're going to cover a number of different techniques for using brushes, and then we're going to outline all the ways to enhance your artistry using Artplay palette brushes. This is my favorite session of all the sessions. It's pure dynamite. It really is going to break down the process that I use to establish what brushes to use when in my pages. And it's really going to be a game changer to your artistry and design knowledge. But if you already have some experience with brushes, then there's a good chance that you're going to be able to take away this outline of techniques, go into your version of Photoshop or Elements and run with them on your own. If, however, you feel like you need more information or guidance, then you're going to come with me into the focus sessions where we're going to really go in depth into all of the different ways that you can use Artplay palette brushes in your photo artistry and digital scrapbooking. Part three is divided into 10 different videos, each of which will focus on one of the 10 techniques that I have identified using Artplay palette brushes. Each of the videos will include an in-depth demonstration on a layout that I have created, which will be supported by at least five layout examples made by myself and the Anna Aspinus Designs team. Of course, those layouts will essentially show the different ways that the demo technique has been used in each design. These demonstrations will be conducted in Adobe Photoshop CC, but if you are an Elements user, then thanks to the Brushes Basics video in your version of Photoshop, you should have absolutely no problem following along. The 10 techniques we will cover are modifying masks, custom blending, making your own masks using Artplay palette brushes, framing the focal points in your designs, embellishing elements, and I define elements as being any object on a layer in the layers panel in either Photoshop or elements, distressing elements or texturizing elements, enhancing color, supporting movement, and achieving balance and tension. So I hope you'll join me. I'm really excited to dig in deep with you in each of these different techniques and really show you the versatility and flexibility that Artplay palette brushes can have in your artistry. The power of brushes is really going to change the way you create your digital artistry and scrapbooking pages. And then when you've made your way through all 10 sessions, I have ideas for a part four, 
which will teach you all about texture brushes, and a part five, which will show you everything you need to know about using pictorial style brushes. And they, of course, are those brushes that support theme and motif in your digital artistry and scrapbooking pages. So the big question here is how Masterly Brushes differs from Advanced Brushes, and that is the previous brush class by Anna Aspinus Designs. Well, Masterly Brushes is product and design based as opposed to program based. Advanced Brushes was really designed to show you the tools in Photoshop that you could use with brushes. Masterly Brushes, however, really teaches you how to use brushes from the Anna Aspinus Designs range, specifically Artplay Palette Brushes, and use them with design principles in your photo artistry and digital scrapbooking pages. So essentially, you're going to be learning very simple brush techniques to achieve complex results in your designs. So it's not the Photoshop tool or technique that is creating the magic in your pages, but rather the brush and the way that you use it. Essentially, what we're doing here is we are learning the what, where, why, and how of brushes so that you can elevate your artistry with a masterly brushes approach. If you have any questions about the Masterly Brushes series, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me at classes at AnnaAspinusDesigns.com. Otherwise, I will meet you over in the Basic Brushes video. Mm -hmm.